my name is Alessandro Lastins. I'm a second year PhD student at the School of Biosciences in the College of Life and Environmental Sciences and I'm studying antimicrobial resistance and plasmids especially. I chose the University of Birmingham uh, because I did, first of all, I did my undergraduate degree here and uh, it, during my third year, well, my final year undergraduate project, I was exposed to this great community of researchers um, and my supervisors at the time um, suggested or at least told me that there was a, f pun uh, a pot of money to basically pursue a postgraduate degree and, um, and at the time not being sure what I wanted to do um, and, but having really enjoyed doing my lab uh, based uh, final year project, I, I basically grabbed the opportunity and, and it, there was no better place to do it, especially in the field of microbiology because of the size and the kind of width and breadth of knowledge that there is at the University of Birmingham. Uh, so it was by far the best option for the field I wanted to study. Being a research student typically involves a lot of time at the bench. So I'm a life scientist, so I do a lot of experiments. Um, on a kind of day-to-day -day basis, I'd come in at nine and set up cultures and make media and run my experiments basically until four o'clock. And the good thing is that a lot of the time I have to leave my bacteria to grow. So in between the cells growing, I try to read some papers or have meetings or get involved with other things outside of my research. Um, typically, I see my supervisor when I need to. Uh, he's a professor, so he's quite busy, uh, but he does always find time for his students. Um, but there is uh, monthly supervision meetings that are scheduled and you have to have them and we fill in a form and it's with all my supervisors, so my first and second supervisor, and so that happens every month, uh, and it's a formal process that all PhD students at the university have to go through. So the postgraduate communi community at the, in the School of Biosciences is quite diverse and very broad. I mean, it's, there's a large, large number of, of students, and we're spread over a whole building, which is seven floors. Uh, but we have, so I'm, I'm also part of the um, graduate school committee and we organize uh, termly uh, activities. So we have a Christmas uh, drinks and meals and we have also um, a poster conference that we organize. And, and in general, there is lots of opportunities for people to kind of get together and, and exchange different ideas and also just have a good time. Um, and in terms of other activities, the institute where I'm working in um, organizes bi-weekly um, coffee mornings for postdocs and PhD students. So coffee's put out and postdocs and PhD students can come together and kind of talk and discuss their problems that they have in the lab. And so it, there's always an opportunity to kind of mingle and and if it's not with the wider community within your lab, there's always several PhD students or several postdocs that are, are more than willing to help out and kind of get involved with not only your lab work, but also outside of basically, uh, yeah, outside of, of, of your day-to-day -day, uh, commitments, basically. For my research, I'm funded by the Darwin Trust of Edinburgh, which is a non-profit charity. Uh, and they're, they have a very generous stipend and also pay all my lab fees and uh, my tuition fees. Um, and in that regard, I'm quite lucky to have the possibility to be funded. Um, and for conferences, the society, so I'm a member of the Society for General Microbiology, uh, and they, they funded my, the attendance to the conference. Unfortunately, it was in Birmingham this year, so I didn't get to stay at a swanky hotel. But in, in, generally, they're very good at funding, and there's a lot of opportunity to, to, you know, for funding um, for conferences abroad. And if the societies don't fund you, I think the schools also have uh, pots of money to allocate for, for conferences or, t or courses or other kind of extracurricular activities. My top tip for a prospective postgraduate researcher is probably get involved as much as you can on a practical basis during your undergraduate degree. Uh, something that a lot of um, postgraduate, well, supervisors and PhD funders are looking for is experience in, in, in a lab-based setting uh, and, and the kind of 
knowledge and will and ability to, uh, to apply practical skills on, on theoretical things that everyone learns anyways uh, in, in an undergraduate degree. Uh, and so that's, that's probably the, the, the most important aspect of, of a strong application. Um, and so I would definitely say get involved as much as you can with practical projects, do summer uh, internships at different labs or in your university or industry or whatever you find. Uh, that, that's definitely a, a big plus.